let's see the question number six in this problem i'm going to solve you using the two method the first one is the graph method the first method i'll share with you the first method first method is the graphical method okay graphical method will solve using the graphical you have to remember this graphical method very important point of view like so guys for your information the area under the area under the speed area under the speed and time area under speed and time speed and time will give you the distance let's see talk about the area let's see this draw perpendicular uh, well this distance this uh, I must say this distance this uh, is in time so which is 8 distance from using this graph 8 second 8 unit and this height is nothing but the 20 from this area under uh, speed and time graph will give you the distance distance it will give you the distance okay so we have to find the distance traveled by the car in 8 seconds so for distance will be now half base into height is the area of triangle base is here 8 and the height is here this is a formula right half base into height base is the space and this is height right so half base into height this is 2 4 so basically we'll get 0 4 to 8 so this will be our 80 meter as a distance okay got it let's solve this using the second method the general method okay so we'll solve this using the second method now so basically if you're talking about this problem the speed of the car function of a time zone in figure the initially the speed is zero right the finally at eight seconds the speed is 20 meter per second okay so in this interval the time is eight seconds the velocity is from zero to 20 right so if you're talking about the acceleration acceleration as i told you just like the in the previous video the acceleration is nothing but the final velocity minus initial velocity upon time so the final velocity is 20 minus initial velocity 0 upon time is 8 so we'll have the acceleration as a 2.5 meter per second square right so guys we have acceleration with us we have a with us and we have to find the distance for distance we have this formula s is equal to ut plus half at square right what about the initial velocity since initial velocity is 0 the whole term is 0 into any time like 8 second will become 0 half as it is 8 is 2.5 which is acceleration and what about the time time is 8 squares so we'll have the 80 just do the calculation we'll get 8 meter as a distance guys i hope you got this both the method if you like this video enjoy it, please like this or subscribe the channel so that you can get update of the another video as well thank you